Hello and welcome to another video from UCSGuru.com in the ACI Bite Size series. The Bite Size videos are meant to be easy to consume and digest and they just show the configuration of a single element within the ACI fabric. Uh, this video will be adding a bare metal rack mount into a Cisco ACI fabric. So this video uh, will build up this topology gradually uh, with various bite size chunks. So we'll be carrying on from the last bite size video which covered the integration of Cisco UCS um, covering uh, ESXi blades, vCenter and the bare metal blade integration. So in this video we'll be adding a Cisco UCS standalone rack mount server. Uh, this particular rack mount server is running a bare metal uh, Windows operating system. So we're going to add that into our UCS fabric and integrate it into one of our current applications that we set up in the uh, UCS video. So that is the application as we left it in the uh, integrating UCS video. So we've got our two EPGs there, our web EPG with the two web VMs in it, our app EPG with an app VM in it and an, a, um, a bare metal blade server in it and in this video we'll be adding in a bare metal windows rack mount server so again that's showing the diversity of Cisco ACI um, being able to apply policy whether it's a physical server a bare metal blade or a VM okay well let's get started on the configuration so we can have a, a quick check-in on our application so we have our SDN lab tenant. With our profile as we left it. So currently we have no bare metal uh, rack mount integration in our web tier. So we'll go and create that. So the first thing we want to do is just go and create our VPC. So as you can see here, again, we, we like symmetry with ACI. So on both port 12s, of those leaf switches I've got a VPC going to our rack mount server so let's go and configure that up so again we want to go into our fabric tab and our access policies and create our VPC so again we're going to be using the wizards so on our VPC wizard so again they're the VPCs we created previously so we're going to create a new one, so we're going to highlight our switch 101 and 102 profile at the top. Add another port to that. And this is on port 12 of both leaf switches. It's a VPC. We'll call this again a sensible name, rack mount 1. We're going to create a policy group. Again, it's a, a bare metal server, so we'll just turn off CDP and LLDP. We're going to match our LACP setting on our server end, which is doing an active uh, team. So we'll do LACP active. It's a, a bare metal host. Um, okay, we're going to create a domain. Can we just create all the domain? rack mounts so we'd use this domain for all our rack mount servers and we're going to create a VLAN pool so we'll just create maybe 50 to 60 and again because these rack mount servers aren't using uh, .1Q tagging they're in effect just access ports we'll only be using these VLANs literally to identify the endpoint group the EPG that, that um, bare metal port should be placed in. Okay, so I think that all looks good. Okay, we'll do save and submit. That should be enough to get our virtual port channel to the server up. So again, I can have a quick check in on the server. So we have our two NICs to the ACI fabric, so that is connected. 
but we won't be able to ping anything as yet. So if we try and ping our gateway on the bridge domain we created previously. So ping, we're going to put this in the web tier, which was the 10 network, 10.10.10.254. So yeah, so we certainly can't ping anything as yet, nor should we be able to, because we haven't placed this endpoint or this uh, bare metal server into that EPG as yet. So that's what we'll do next. So we'll leave that ping minus T running. Okay, so we go into our tenant, go and find our web EPG. So currently that's our application as it stands so they've got no bare metal integration with the web tier only that bare metal blade with the app tier so let's go into our web our domain associations we're going to add that physical rack mount domain we created with the wizard so rack mounts on demand on demand is fine okay and then the last little bit of the puzzle is we need to create a static port mapping. So it's a virtual port channel to our rack mount one. Okay, now we just need to pick a VLAN. I say this VLAN doesn't have any relevance as far as the blade, the uh, rack mount server is concerned. That's just using a, a, a standard server NIC uh, with no uh, tagging. But we just need to define a, a VLAN so we can tie it to the EPG. Um, so that VLAN, as long as that exists within the pool that's associated with the rack mount um, domain that we created earlier. Okay, so we're an access untagged port as opposed to a native uh, VLAN port. So I'll leave it as untagged. And that all looks good. So I'll submit to that. And let's check in on our ping. Okay, so we are now pinging our default gateway within our bridge domain. And we'll just double check we can ping uh, another workload in our same EPG. So another one of the web VMs. Uh, we've got that contract in place between the web tier and the app tier. So we should be able to ping one of our app VMs. which we can and we should be able to ping the bare metal blade also in the app tier which I think was 100 yep okay so we've got full connectivity now from our rack mount server let's just check in on ACI and just do our uh, ACI checks so let's go into our application SDN lab app Okay, let's give that a wiggle. Okay, so we can see our bare metal integration now on our web tier. Our application's at 100%, which is good. Again, another good check to do is go into the web tier. Go and have a look in the operational tab. And make sure we are learning our IP address and MAC address. So we can see we are there. It's not associated to a ESX host or vCenter, obviously, because it's a bare metal rack mount. We can see we've bound it to VLAN 50, and we are on the port group for rack mount 1. So that's all looking good. OK, so let's just have a little recap. Right, so in this video, what we've done is we've taken a bare metal rack mount server and connected it to the ACI fabric and integrated it into a existing application. So that covers it for this bite-sized video of integrating a standalone rack mount server into the ACI fabric. And so hope you can join me for the next one. In the meantime, bye for now.